This is Parsonver LA24, a brand new 1.3 inch AMOLED always on display budget smartwatch with premium sporty design which falls in entry level range. In today's video I'm going to show you everything you want to know about the LA24, the heart rate and the blood saturation accuracy and its step count accuracy and I'll give you a quick tour through its features. But first, let's check what's in the box. Inside we can find the watch itself, a manual and a warranty card and the USB charging cable. The LA24 has a catchy rounded design with very premium look. It is actually one of the best looking watches I've seen so far in 2023. The watch has an anodized aluminium case with a reinforced glass screen. It certainly doesn't look cheap. It has a soft silicon wrist strap which is of good quality. It has a similar design to Apple Solar Loop which in this case is a good thing. However, it's not compatible with Apple straps. If we flip the watch we can find a hose for the built-in speaker which is used to make a phone calls. A 3-axis G sensor for the heart rate combined with the infrared sensor for SPO2 tracking. Here's the magnetic charging port to fuel up the smartwatch using included charging cable. And there's an integrated microphone. There are two buttons at the right side of the metal case. The rotary crown button in the middle is our main home and navigation crown. The upper button gets us to the sports menu where we could find 20 sports modes which we'll discuss in a minute. The casing of the watch is water resistant and has IP68 certification which means it's splash proof and sweat proof. It should also withstand short submersion in the water. I wouldn't recommend swimming with the watch as the chemicals in the pool water might damage the metal casing. Also the salty conductive water in the sea or in the ocean might cause some damage to the metal parts of the watch. So if you're planning scuba diving don't forget to take the watch off your wrist first. The companion app is quite intuitive and simplistic and offers a ton of features when it comes to health stat reports, alarms, reminders, push notifications, etc etc. Once you got the app installed on your phone, make sure you got the Bluetooth turned on in your phone. But do not connect your watch from this screen. To connect it, you'll have to open the app then you'll be asked to create your profile or log into your existing personal profile. Then just carry on with pairing and syncing from the app. The initial connection with the phone is necessary in order to set up the time and date and set up all your tracking preferences, sports targets and personalize the watch. During setup you'll be asked to confirm the app requests regarding the notifications etc. To ensure full functionality of the watch you'll have to confirm all the requests. The absolutely beautiful 1.3 inch AMOLED display has tempered 2.5D Gorilla Glass and it comes with anti-fingerprint coating. The display has a thick 4mm bezel surrounding the screen. The watch didn't pick up the marks easily after several days of use so the coating works well. The 1.3 inch screen isn't quite as large and clear as 1.4 inch of the newest Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 but it's equally super sharp and displays vivid colors. The AMOLED screen technology put the older IPS and TFT LCD screens into shame. Navigation is pretty simple on the watch. You can use a combination of the buttons on the right hand side and by swiping across the screen. We had no issues using the buttons and the device was responsive to the touch. There are three types of menu, classic icons with the description, an Apple style and looped icons menu. This is up to your personal preference. The display has a resolution of 360 by 360 pixels and because it's AMOLED it's very bright. It has 5 steps of brightness. It's obviously an always on display and this AOD feature has to be turned on in the settings. The look of the display can be obviously customized. You'll have to download one of the optional watch faces from the selection of around 40 available ones and this has to be done by the companion app. You can also create your own watch face using any photo or image from your phone. Simply pick up the photo, choose the color of the font and tap the sync button It's being sent to the watch. Now let's check out how accurate the heart rate measured by the Parsonver LA24 is against the medical pulse oximeter. And before we carry on, make sure you're subscribed. In the first trial, my wife will measure the heart rate before she starts her workout routine. The LA24 measured 55 beats per minute and the pulse oximeter recorded 53 BPM. That's not bad, let's try it again. 
Looks like we got almost the same readings on both devices, 56 on the watch and 57 on the oximeter. Now let's test it again as she did some spin on her stationary bike. This will be a bit more challenging for the watch to measure and capture the readings. And here we got 81 beats per minute at the watch and the oximeter indicates 79 beats per minute. Now let's check the accuracy of the blood saturation levels measurements. The watch stopped on 98% and the oximeter on 99% and that I would say is satisfactory. The LA24 has 20 various sports modes on board to track the sports activities and here we got walking, running, climbing, cycling, basketball, badminton, yoga, rope, skipping, volleyball etc etc and there's many more modes available to pick and configure via the companion app all to your personal preference and that's good. Unfortunately, the watch hasn't got a GPS built in to track your position during the walking, biking or running exercises, but the companion app can utilize the GPS location directly from your phone. All you have to do, open the app and start the walking, running or biking exercise from the app and your GPS position going to be tracked and recorded within the app. Now let's check if the LA24 can count and record the steps accurately. For this experiment, my wife will use a manual tally counter as usual. She will do exactly 1000 steps. Each step equals one manual click at the tally counter. This is so far our most reliable method of counting the steps. And the LA24 tracked 984 steps. So we got a slight undercount here. When your watch is paired with your phone and is within the Bluetooth range of your phone and if you have enabled the Bluetooth call feature then you can choose to make a call from your watch. The biggest reason why people love Bluetooth smartwatch calling feature is because it lets them answer and attend calls as quick as possible. No more fumbling for your hefty smartphone in your pocket, especially when your hands are tight or you are in a tight spot. The Bluetooth range for the phone calls is around 9 to 10 meters. You can create a list of your favorite contacts via the companion app. This will let you quickly pick the number you want to dial in. The watch is also pushing the notifications about the incoming text messages and social apps messages. You can control your music app in your smartphone once the devices are connected. Here you can start and stop and skip to the next songs or a previous song. Unfortunately the player won't work while your watch is tracking your exercises in the sports mode. There are more useful features here, stopwatch, countdown, fine phone and also women can track their menstrual cycles. And there's also the brief widget which encourages you to set aside a few minutes a day to relax and focus on your breathing. Simply open the brief widget, tap start, inhale slowly as the animation grows and then exhale as it shrinks. The watch has also a sleep tracking feature. We weren't able to scientifically test the accuracy of the sleep tracking, but my wife been wearing her LA24 few nights and it seemed to be fine. It records the sleep time and wake up time as well as detects the light sleep and deep sleep. It tends to ignore daily naps and struggles recording the sleep if staying up till late, but sleep between 9pm and 7am being tracked just fine. The watch has a long-lasting 300mAh lithium polymer battery. In testing, one hour of charging gives nearly two weeks of usage. So far it seems to be consuming 10% of its battery life each day, which is pretty good going. Honestly, after using this LA24 around a month time, my wife concluded that it doesn't have much of the downsides, or rather I will call it certain cons. But when you compare these cons with the price, you'll realize that this smartwatch already serves you way more than enough. I agree there are plenty of great and expensive smartwatches, but if your budget is a little tight and you want the best of the best smartwatch with the AMOLED screen, then you should check out the LA24. It's available on Amazon for the price of under $60 US, around 60 euros or 60 British pounds. So if you'd like to check this one out, just scan the QR code which pop out now. There are affiliate links in the video description where you can find the LA24 for a competitive price. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed that video and found it pretty informative and useful. If you're new to the channel, make sure you're subscribed so you won't miss when the next video comes out.